Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today we are going to be making these very simple bows. I've had a couple of requests for some simple bows, so I'm going to show you how to make two different styles. This one here is a double tuxedo bow style bow. And then you can do the single one using the same method. It's really cute and very simple. And then we'll be I'll be showing you how I do these pinwheel bows. So, we'll start with this one, and for today's project, you're going to need um, a heat source of some kind, and you'll see how I, what I use this for, and you'll need scissors and a needle and thread. For thread, I use this upholstery uh, thread, and I find it to be very, very sturdy, and it holds up to... Um, I mean tugging you can tug on it forever and it won't break and it's very discreet uh, embroidery floss is is it strong because you have a few layers but I find it um, thicker and it kind of pops through depending on how wide of a bow you do or whatever so I prefer this upholstery thread and that's just my preference um, so here we go. We're going to get started. So we have this one. Let me show you how. For this one, I use inch and a half width ribbon, and I'm just going to use this emoji one. And I'm going to cut it two strips at eight inches long. It's the size that I find that I like the best. Just poofy enough loops, but without being too floppy and being too small. See that? And that this is what I use this for is it cuts and seals my ribbon all in one step makes you slightly more efficient and you don't have a double step to do so you don't have to cut and then you have to go back and heat seal them all after you cut them and I have this glass board here I picked up at Hobby Lobby for about $20 I used my 40% off coupon on it and I think it is awesome so here we go we're gonna get started so for these ones, what you're going to do is you're going to fold them in half. So you're going to take it and you're going to fold it in half. And give a good crease to this side here because you want to have that middle. So you have your crease right there. So we're going to take the sides and we're going to fold them up. And you're going to fold them up and you want to overlap that crease just a hair. Just enough so you have something to stitch through on both ends. So it's going to basically look like this to you. So then for this style, what I like to do is I go up one, and then I go down, up, and then down again. So basically when it's looking at me, this is what I'm looking at here, and then that's the other side. So this is going to be your front of your bow, and this is going to be your back of your bow where you've overlapped. So then we're just going to slide it through, and set that down there. And we're going to take up another ribbon and we're going to do the same thing. Fold it in half, get our center crease like so. And then we're going to bring up, overlap just a little bit. And then bring down, overlap just a little bit. And we have that again. So, pick up my needle and then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go up, down, up, and down. So once again, looking at me looks like that, and then that's the other side. So then we're going to pull them through. So now, once I get everything all situated, this is what it looks like in front of me. So you have them stacked on top of each other. So then what I'm going to do... I'm just going to pick them up and I'm going to hold them in my hand. And I'm going to pull. Basically making your cinching and your creases. So then as I've got it, I'm going to take this, get it all cinched up, and I'm going to wrap probably about three or four times. And then I'm going to give it a nice tight pull to that and get that really secure in the center. And then make sure everything's pretty much even. Did I? There we go. 
So now I'm just going to tie it off. I always knot my thread when I'm done because I'll forget and then get something going and it looks really nice and then I forget and got to start all over again. So, so basically this is what I have after I'm done. So now, from this point, you can go any way with it. You can finish it off very basically just by wrapping a piece of 3 8 inch ribbon around the center. You can put a flower in the middle. You can put a bottle cap on there. You can put spikes behind it. Just however you want to do it, but it's a very basic tuxedo style double bow. For this one, it's the same basic idea, only you're doing one of them. And then this one I did two inch wide ribbon with cutting it at 10 inches long. And I think it makes like the perfect little bow there at that size. Not too floppy and they kind of stay perky. So I like that one. And for our next one, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this pinwheel bow. And this is how I do my pinwheel bows. I have these little boards that I made. And this one, I like the way it comes out, makes it tighter for the inch and a half wide ribbon, is it's four inches across this way. So let me grab a ruler. Ruler, ruler, ruler. We'll grab this one. A bunch of different rulers around here. So we're going, and if you can see, that's four inches wide. And then you find your center here, and then you cut your little deal out here so that you can thread it through, basically. So for this one, I'm going to do is I've got 24 inches of inch and a half grow grain ribbon. So what I'm going to do is right here and this would be facing me so I'm gonna take it down here to the bottom and I'm just gonna bring it to this side of it I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna take one of my alligator clips and I'm just gonna clip it and hold it in place so now that I've got that I'm gonna start wrapping it around like so overlapping my my pieces so that I've got it to this point point. and I take another one and I put it there so now on the back side of it so this is going to be the back side. You're going to have three strips going, and on the front side that's going to be facing you, you're going to have a half, two, and then another half. So for this one, really simple. All I do is I find the center of it, and I pop my needle through, like so, and then I just move this one off to the side, and I'm going to just wrap around like three or four times. So this is gonna be three times because my thread isn't very sh long. But, so once I get it to that point, I'm gonna just pull. And it's gonna cinch. And I'm gonna pull and cinch. So now, see how they're bending in? And I'm gonna pull my alligator clips off and then I'm gonna slide it. And on here, I have these pieces of uh, scotch tape wide and it just makes it so that the bow slides off nice and easily. So then from that point, I'm just gonna cinch it really tightly down. And then before I tie off anything, I'm gonna spread out and fluff and all that other stuff before I get anything. So if I mess up, I can just wrap it around. So that looks good to me. And now I'm going to just tie it off. like so, and once again, I'm going to knot my thread so that I don't lose my knot, right there, and now from this point, you guys, you can either leave it like this, leave your tails long and floppy, or you can cut your V shapes in them, me personally, this is, I like them looking like this, so I take this one, I take them, I take this one and I just kind of line it up with this piece here so I'm going even with it so it's not too short not too long 
and then I'm just going to cut it right across. Like so. And then of course, I'm going to heat seal my ends so they don't fray. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just hold it across. And cut. And then I'm just going to heat seal. Just like so. So now, you have a basic pinwheel bow. From this point, you can go do, once again, do whatever you want. You can put bottle cap in the center of it, just wrap it with uh, a piece of thread. You can make them in various sizes. You can even take this one and put it over the top. You can put the flower in the center. You can put spikes on the bottom. You can take a twisted boutique bow and put it over top. I mean. With these basic ones, you can do anything you want, but these are just the really simple basic bows, and for beginners starting out, they're the simplest ones to start with to get your techniques down, and I think that's pretty much all I have for the basic bows today. Um, I thank you guys, and if you're new, very if you're new to me, welcome, and please subscribe, and guys, please hit that thumbs up button, tell me how I'm doing. And in the comments below, let me know if there's something you'd like or something you don't like. And if you would like me to make another tutorial, please let me know. And thank you very much. And in the descriptions, I'll put the measurements in that I used. And I will also be putting a link to a Facebook page that goes along with this channel. It's called Crafting with Janine. And you can come by there, like the page, and stay connected. And I will be putting some news, whether I post a new video, or maybe some of the bows that I've done that I've tried out. I have ones that I just try and see how they go, and all of that other stuff. So, thank you guys, and you guys have a wonderful day, and happy crafting!